Hey guys, so today I'm going to film my August favourites. I haven't done a favourites video in forever and like everyone says, the month has gone so quickly. I'm just here to film my August favourites. I'm sorry if you guys hear noises in the background of this video. I do live near an airport and so there's been so many planes today. But I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start with my face products first. The first product I've absolutely been loving lately is this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. I did a first impression of this, so I will link it um, in the down bar below. But I have really been loving this lately. I have been fake tanning lately. I'm not fake tan today. But I have been fake tanning lately, and this is a really good shade. I'm in the same shade 220, and it just suits me really well. It is so easy. You just, like, draw it on your face and then blend it in with a brush. I have really been loving it and it's just quick and easy on the run foundation. It doesn't have the best wear time but it doesn't really matter, I've just been loving it. The next thing which probably won't come as a surprise to any of you if you watch my videos is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the Eraser Dark Circles uh, Brightening Treatment Concealer. I absolutely love this. I love the little applicator on the end, how you just like brush it on. It is so easy. Um, I've used about half of this. And I've had it for um, maybe like five months, six months, something like that. Um, but I've really been loving it. I use it almost every day and I have only used half of it. So I've been really loving this one. So I'm glad I did purchase it when I did. My next favourite is a face powder. And this is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Once again, if you watch my videos, you would have seen this in so many of them. This is in the colour 01 Transparent. It's just a really finely milled powder, which is why I love it. I set my T-zone with it, um, and I just really like it. It keeps me matte for a long time. It's, it's just really nice. And because it is a really finely milled powder, it doesn't um, cake up on your foundation too much. So I really like that one. Next, I've been loving this product for my brows. It's not what I use today, ironically. Um, I do have a back to school tutorial coming up on this makeup, but not with this lip, obviously. I've put a different lip on for this video. Um, but it's my Face of Australia High Definition Brow Kit. This is, I think I only have one shade of this, but it's got a wax on this end and then two different coloured powders. It does come with a little angled brush here um here a little angled brush and also a set of tweezers my tweezers aren't in here at the moment but i just really like it um and the lightest color powder um is a really good match for my brows now that i've gone blonder by the way what do you guys think of my new hair color i really like it it is still a little bit orange but um i don't want to go really white blonde i kind of want to be like a yellowy like a golden blonde like a honey blonde so i'm not really sure yet but i'm just leaving it for now before my hair falls out um my next favorite is this mascara and it's my face of australia impact curl mascara i absolutely love this my eyelashes struggle to hold a curl like I curled them just before this video a lot and they were like BAM like straight up from my um, lash line and my eyelashes are just like and I tried curling them with mascara I haven't tried the whole heated curling one thing um, but I've tried curling them with mascara I've tried everything but this mascara actually gives my eyelashes some length it gives them a little bit of curl and when I put this on I find that my eyelashes do hold a curl well, I do find it holds a curl a little bit longer than any other mascara, so I'm loving that one. Then I've been loving two other eye products. Um, the first one is my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, I got this from my sister. She went to America and she bought it for me. I absolutely love it. It just looks like this for all of you who haven't seen it. Let's be honest, who hasn't seen this palette? Um, so I have been loving it. I absolutely love the matte shades. I enjoy using them in my crease. And then I take like the sparkly, um, this one here called Dust or the uh, more like 
orangey one here called Trick and I just placed that on the lid because they are really shimmery and really metallic and it creates a really nice look. So if you want to see a tutorial using just this palette, let me know in the comments below and I can do one. Um, I have used it in a few Get Ready With Me's but if you want to see a look purely with this palette, I can do that. Then I have been loving my MAC 275 brush. It's just a kind of angled fluffyish blending brush and that's what I like using it for. I place it in the crease and I use it to blend out colour in the crease. So I point I place the pointy part in my crease and that's really good for setting down colour and then this kind of like shorter part of the brush is really good to blend it out. So I love this brush for that and I've been really getting back into using it, especially because I have like hooded eyes. Um, it's really good to help like blend out and get a little bit of a colour actually above the crease because then that's what gives you the nice kind of still being able to see your colour above your hood. They're all my kind of makeup favourites this month. The other thing I've been loving is my glasses. So these are my glasses. Just look like this. Damn. Um, they are Colette Dinigan glasses and I just got mine from Specsavers. They are a kind of tortoiseshell um, pattern. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that from there. But they are a tortoiseshell pattern. I really love them. And I've just been really into wearing my glasses lately with uni and with being really busy. It's just been so much easier and less irritating to my eyes than wearing contacts when I've been studying late at night and stuff. I thought I would talk to you guys about a movie of the month that I have been loving. Um, and that is The Fault in Our Stars. I absolutely... I watched it and I was just like, I fell in love. I really loved the movie. I really loved the characters. It was a bit weird though, because I saw Divergent first and like the same actor and actress are like brother and sister in Divergent and then they're like lovers in The Fault in Our Stars. But I really liked it and I don't really know if I liked the ending, but I'm totally not going to spoil it because if you haven't seen it, I don't want to tell you the ending when you haven't seen it. But I really liked it. Uh, the other thing I really liked is obviously the song out of The Fault in My Stars. That um, is the like boom clap song. I absolutely love it. I actually sung it in my um, TMI tag. So if that's not up, it'll be up really soon if you'd like to hear me singing that song, even though I am the worst singer in the world. And last but not least, I have really been loving an app on my phone called Pic Collage. I will um, post like a picture of it somewhere, but I've really been loving it. It's really fun to use. Um, you can create your own collages. You can obviously, as the name of the app would suggest. So like this is an example of a collage that I've done. Um, me and my boyfriend that I'm going to post for our anniversary. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can use, they have like different templates for it. So um, you can pick a template if you would prefer. And I've just been really loving it. So that is my August favourites. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you film videos and have done an August favourites, leave it in the comments below. I would love to watch it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.